Hey GED test takers, I'm Alice. I passed the GED reasoning through language arts tests and I'd like to help you pass too. I studied with the writing for the GED test series from New Readers Press. Practicing with these books boosted my confidence and helped me to write a great extended response. In this video, I'll share some tips from writing for the GED test that will help you maximize your score on the extended response. In videos two and three, you learned how to analyze the passages, choose the best supported argument, and gather evidence. Now it's your turn to write an argument. What do you need to include in your response? How do you begin? Planning your response is an important step. It will only take a few minutes and it'll help you get your best score. Spend about 25 minutes planning and writing your response. Before you can plan your response, you should know what a good extended response looks like. Every well-written essay has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Your response will be an argument or an argumentative essay. Remember that you are not writing your opinion on the topic. You are writing an analysis of two authors' positions and explaining which argument is stronger. In the first paragraph, introduce the topic you are writing about and state your claim. Your claim or thesis statement tells your position. The body of the essay presents reasoning and evidence to support your claim. This is the longest part of the response and should be at least two paragraphs. The concluding paragraph sums up your main points and restates your claim. First, let's focus on the introduction. The first paragraph of your response is the introduction. Here, you will introduce the topic you'll be writing about, give a summary of the two positions, and then clearly state your claim. What's that? A claim or a thesis is a statement that can be proven. It is not an opinion. Your claim statements tells the reader what you are writing about. Since the extended response prompt says to determine which argument is best supported, your claim must clearly state which of the two positions is stronger. Be sure to state your claim as if it is a fact, and the rest of your essay will prove that it is true. For example, Mayor Lin makes a stronger argument because she uses logic and supports her point with statistics. This is a claim statement. It's a statement that you can prove with evidence and reasoning from the text. But you can improve your introductory paragraph by providing some background and giving an overview of your reasoning. For example, in her speech, Mayor Lin argues that the city of Hope Valley should adopt mandatory recycling because it saves landfill space, saves money, and is easy to do. Mr. Grimley, however, says that mandatory recycling is a bad idea because it is an expensive waste of his time. His argument sounds like an emotional rant. Mayor Lin's speech is the stronger of the two positions because she uses logical arguments based on statistics and a model from a successful recycling program. Your claim is very clear, and you have given the reader an idea of what reasons to expect in the body of your essay. Here's a tip to improve your score. Make sure that your response is focused on the passages and not your opinions. Remember, the prompt asks you which argument is best supported, not which argument you agree with. In the next video, I'll help you write the body and conclusion paragraphs and cite supporting evidence. If you want to learn more about or practice planning your essay and writing your introduction, purchase Writing for the GED Test Book 3 by New Readers Press.